Okay, guys, I was asked by some student if it was possible to slow down some backing tracks. So it will be easier for you to practice the new songs that you're working on right now. So there's a really easy way to do this. It's by using a software that is called Audacity. So let me show you really quickly how to download it and how to slow down the backing track. It will take less than a minute. So let's go. Just go onto your web browser and tap Audacity download, just like this. It will get you there. And then just download it either for Windows or Mac, depending on what your computer is. Once it's downloaded, it's really quick. And you open it, it will look like this. So what you can do is just drag the song that you want. I have a backing track here from another brick in the wall. So just by dragging it, it opens. Or you can search your computer here by opening a file. Really easy software to use. And then you just go into the effects here. And this is really important. Don't choose change speed because if you choose change speed, it will change the pitch also. So the faster you put the song, the, the higher the pitch will be and the lower you put the speed the pitch will get lower. So this is not the effect that we want. We want to change tempo here. By changing the tempo, the, the pitch will stay the same. So it was not selected. So I just selected the track here. So change tempo and not speed. And there you can choose how many percent you want to slow it down. So 10% is good. And 20% is about the maximum you can slow down and it still sound good. So go either 10 or 20% to slow it down and it will give you a good chance to practice with this backing track by slowing it down. All right, so that's it. That's how you slow down the backing track using Audacity. And don't worry, downloading it and installing it will only take like a minute. It's a really small software. So there you go. I hope you will enjoy this new software. Bye.